Hello. Hello, and um, today I'll be showing you how to get th how to sell your 3D models free online, completely free. And so here we go. So you want to type in 3D export. Wait. 3D export. And you'll just press the search. And you'll see uh, these. Click on this first one. Here we are. We're here now. Okay, and here you'll see uh, all kind of stuff. Here's how it basically works. You sell your models on here <coughs> for like a reasonable price or whatever, and then people will. Everything starts to happen when I make my tutorial. That already closed. What the? Anyway, all right, and let me see. Ah, oh, come on, Jeff, can you just stop messing me up? Okay, it's lagging right now because of my camcorder. All right, well, anyway. Okay, so, um, all you have to do is sign up. It doesn't require address or anything. It's completely online, really. But you do, I think, have to have a bank account or whatever to use this. You do have to have a bank account or whatever. And a PayPal account. Alright, no, oh, it's going so dang slow. Okay. Username. The username will be, uh, let's see, uh, I already have an account, uh, I just want to tell you that. You can, uh, come here and look up the 3D Master 11, that should work, uh, free tutorial guide. Password. Uh, let's see. Email address. Um, just use this one. Gmail, it's Yahoo. Okay, it's good. Select the United States. We gotta select the United States. That there it is. Create account. Okay, here's where it starts getting like uh, 3D Ocean. If you ever heard of 3D Ocean, okay, both of them have this thing where you have to take a test before you can start selling 3D models. You have to take a test. The only difference between 3D Ocean and 3D Export is that 3D Export is way more popular. Yeah, 3D Ocean is like sort of an alternative for people who are not really good at making 3D stuff. But 3D export definitely doesn't just allow any old thing to be seen on here. Your model has to be pretty good. As you can see, there we go. And I really don't want to take the test again, but I'll show you. 
like I'm selling works and crap. Sell 3D models. You can sell and buy awesome 3D models. Right now, the ones that are selling the most are the C4D and the 3DS models. I recommend you save your models in that format to be sold. Because those seem to be selling more than dot .objs and stuff. Those seem to really be selling in dot .max files as well. Upload 3D models. Yeah, now you have to take the quiz. Uh, up here, these are the things uh, over here. These are like the primary things that you have to study and learn. It should only take you a little while. Yeah. Just read this. Then all you got to do is take the quiz. I don't want to do that. And then you have to put answers for certain questions and stuff. It's relatively easy, but I really don't feel like doing that again. It, it gave me a headache at first. So I was looking over here instead of up here by a minute. And so I had to retake the quiz like nine times before I finally got it right. So, yeah. And the best strategy to go at when doing this is to look at what's selling the best. Don't just go trying to, like, what is it? Don't just go, like, trying to, I just turned up my volume a little bit. Don't just go and, like, trying to, uh, like, just try to make anything and everything. Uh, or else you just be wasting your time. I look in the best sales. Sometimes it freezes like that and I have to restart it, but it should show. Come on, come on. Uh, look in the best sales. This is a recommended strategy. Like, if you really want your models to be sold, look in best sales, and you can see what's selling and what category is selling. Right now, what's selling is mostly cars and you know tech, and like kind of kind of modern slash futuristic technology. You know, that's what's kind of selling right now. Yeah. And you can also look up other people. Let's see here. The Oh yeah, I've looked it up before. Why it's there. From here you can see all my items. Uh, this one is one of my most proudest ones so far on that I've uh, put on here. It's not like a VIP room hot tub thing or whatever. I just decided to uh, put together. Yeah. You can check this out uh, in your own free time. Please stop loading that. Awesome, right? Look at that. Awesome. This is made in Cinema 4D, and it's not one of my best models either. Yeah, it's still so cool. And so you can check out, uh, you can check out all my uh, other models. Anyway, uh, you can check out all my other models and stuff, and see if you like something. You can buy it. And you know, take up reviews fifty nine materials. Yes, textures. Yes. Okay, another thing, one of the uh, requirements is you have to know the exact uh, vertices and polygons of your mish, uh, mish, wow, mish. And as far as geometry goes, uh, polygonal, which means 
polygonal means you basically sit there and you uh you kind of like put it all together instead of like going and sculptures and making all these triangles and stuff you actually took your time and put it together uh, <coughs> yeah okay and as far as my uh, tutorials I plan to start selling them at least next month if I can uh, my cinema 4d tutorials but I might make one free one, uh, like let one be on YouTube for free. So you know it's kind of like showing you, okay. So if you like that one, you might be able to buy the rest or something. Not sure. Uh, I guess if I see anybody, I then I guess if uh, I guess uh, yeah, let's see. I might release uh, one or two of them for free. Oh yeah, and another handy rule about this site: you must release it as uh, you must release at least one picture as a wireframe. Yeah, so required pictures are really two pictures: one picture that looks cool and everything, the other picture that is wireframed, a wireframe of the mission or whatever. Um. Which they have different types of geometry as well. You don't just have to go polygonal. There's subdivision, which is really like what you do in sculpture. It's just all in triangles and stuff. And they usually have a large amount of poly. So people really know that's only for show. Really with subdivisions. Yeah. So, yeah. I recommend you make it polygonal because those sell pretty well. Um. But it's up to you in the end. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's killing me. I'm dealing with the aftermath of this cold. Oh, God. No, so, no more sore throat, thank God. But, uh, who knows? Okay, anyway. So, uh. And also, another thing how they make money out of this is they take, uh, is they take uh, a cut. You take a 60%. No. I think you take a 60% royalty. Yeah, that's right. You take 60%. And then they. Uh, 40. Make it sound. No, 60. 60% of a royalty. And they get the rest. So you split into 60 40. So that's forty dollars. I think I get, yeah. Out of forty dollars, I get thirty, and they get ten. You see, so that's how it goes. And you can also build up royalty. Uh, it can go all the way up to seventy percent, but that's only if you keep selling and selling and selling, because the royalty can build up to seventy percent. Same as with three D Ocean, I believe. So, yeah, so you can start to get 70% instead of 60%. That's as high as it goes. Uh, yeah. And that's basically it on here. Uh, there we go. And you can check out all kind of stuff. And why would you want to buy from here, you might ask? Well, it's great because you don't have to create all this stuff yourself. You only have to create the like the characters and stuff you don't have to worry about the scenes and everything and they're pretty affordable prices plus you always know you're getting something premium because 3d export doesn't just allow any old lousy model to be sold unlike with 3d ocean 3d ocean basically 3d ocean kind of allows almost anything in my opinion uh, however 3d export is completely different from that they have a very strict uh, thing. And also, if your price is too outrageous, they might get the model off as well. Like this bedroom, I think it can go up to $30. If it goes, if somebody tries to sell this for $100, 3D Export will probably get rid of it because that makes no sense. You know. Yeah. 
show. Uh, see you later. That's all. Oh, wow. Just about 15 minutes. See you later.